It's a first alert weather day across our region and first alert meteorologist Ray Petlin is here. Ray, earlier some areas were seeing some pretty big snowflakes out there, but things have slowed down a bit. Yeah, that's those bursts of snow I, I talk about. Well, you don't have a giant amount of snow outside when it comes down so quickly. The road conditions can change very quickly, and that was a concern, and that's why today was a first alert weather day. Now, the worst of this weekend snow is pushing off to the east. So uh, central eastern Pennsylvania and towards the coast, that's where this uh, storm system's moving off to. Locally, we have a little drizzle still trying to show up and even the potential for some freezing rain. Now, Allegheny County was allowed to get dropped out of the winter weather advisories as well as uh, Westmoreland County, the ridges of Fayette for Preston County and Monongalia County. We still have a winter storm warning in effect for Somerset and winter weather advisories, Indiana, Armstrong, Butler, Clarion and Venango, as well as Jefferson counties. That little bit of a freezing drizzle, if not uh, a rain snow mix up around Catanning and Ford City. This could lead to some slick spots. We're seeing a little of that drizzle and, and sometimes this is so fine it's hard for the radar to pick it up but you can see how that carries over into uh, like Beaver County some of that around Cranberry that looks to be pretty much uh, right near uh, uh, 228 and uh, 19 up there and a little of that trying to extend down into Washington now when the radar has a hard time picking it up we see it best with our visibilities you can see a half mile visibility in Wheeling 3 for Pittsburgh 10 and Butler that would typically mean good visibility uh, 8.3 in Franklin uh, one and a half Indiana so there are some spots where that moisture is in the air and still floating around. Uh, not so much here downtown. A little drizzle has been trying to show up and you can see that moves on and later tonight we're going to see some snow showers, but most of this snow that moves in is going to favor the ridges and that's sort of where it's going to stick the most into the next 24 hours. So while we're going to see a little snow tomorrow, a little of that left over into the ridges and this is where we could see additional accumulations that breaks up. And then we see things quiet down when it comes to snowfall amounts. This is what we ended up with three in Indiana, three in Murraysville, Catanning with three inches, 2.2 Monroeville, 2.0. So two inches in Fox Chapel Moon Township at the National Weather Service office, 1.7 inches of snowfall there and tomorrow's additional snowfall is generally going to be a dusting until you get up into some of those bigger ridges there. You can pick up a few more inches of snow before the day is through tomorrow. So when it comes to tonight, drizzle, freezing drizzle, some fog and freezing fog as well as some snow showers later tonight. We get down close to freezing and only make it back to the mid 30s tomorrow with scattered snow. That's just going to end up being another dusting of accumulation temperatures mid to upper 30s Sunday, Monday. We get close to 50 degrees Tuesday and Wednesday, but Wednesday is a day where we transition from rain back to snow. Thursday, you're looking at partly cloudy skies and then some showers transitioning from again wet to white between Friday and Saturday with those temperatures getting back into the 30s a week from now.